Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 at Byte Blogger Base and today we have a special guest, Atharva. Atharva, thank you so much for your valuable time. And Atharva is a cyber security enthusiast with a passion for hunting down vulnerabilities and security. So he's into security, digital landscape where Atharva has started his journey as a former red team researcher at Agri10x and now he has sharpened his skills in offensive security, assessing the system for weakness and developing strategies to defend against cyber threats. Currently, Athar holds the prestigious position of OPSEC lead at Hackers. So OPSEC Ops is the position by Athar and he is a renowned organization all over the India. So how are you feeling right now, Athar? Yeah, I'm good. I'm doing great. <laughs> and Athav has successfully identified vulnerabilities in major companies like Google, Microsoft, Apple, contributing to the enhancement of digital security on a global scale. In addition to this, he has noteworthy achievements. So Athav has undertaken a lot of opportunities, projects. So welcome to the show. And we'll be starting with the first question that how did you jump in bug bounty and when it started? My bug bounty journey uh, began about four years ago, and interestingly, it started with the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, during this pandemic, I had more free time on my hands. College yeah, was uh, uh, So I decided to make the most of this uh, extra time and starting learning about vulnerabilities and uh, how to exploit it. I gained more skill in penetration testing during this time. And uh, real-time website, pe main hunting kar tha. Yes. Okay, okay, that's great. Okay, so what type of special bugs you used to find? Because I was reading about you, so you find a very serious and critical bugs into websites. So what was your methodology like for hunting? Especially the vulnerabilities. Uh, um, bugs find karne ke liye, uh, me starting se like uh, looking for bugs. I starting with uh, subdomain enumerations. Okay. Uh, to subdomain agar find karne ke baad, uh, Use tool like uh, FOF and similar tools like FOF to take for any uh, directories. When looking for bugs uh, to increase my chances of finding vulnerabilities, first I start with subdomain enumeration. Uh, uh, so after that, uh, I use tools like FOF or similar uh, to check any directories or sensitive endpoints uh, that might be exposed. This automated scanning helps helps me to identify uh, low hanging fruits. An important thing I do is check JavaScript files, uh, which can contain valuable information and potential security issues. Uh, lots of beginners miss that. Koi zada JS files wagera check nahi karte, usme API keys rehte, secret token rehte, IRS ki rehti. To ye sab miss karte, to wo main check karta ho. And beyond automated scans, uh, I perform manual hunting on the target. This involves exploring various functionalities uh, such as uh, user registration, wa, password reset function, wa, yeah, and other critical areas where uh, security vulner vulnerabilities are likely to surface. Okay. So this was the thing you used to find out for vulnerabilities basically, right? Okay, now we go ahead. Like what? Like for uh, people, red teaming is in very different languages. Like so, for red, red teaming is offensive security. For red teaming is to exploit into system, getting another access into system like an attack or behaving like this simply, right? So what exactly mm -hmm. is red teaming for you? Red teaming is like a pretend cyber attack where a cyber expert act like the bad guys to check if the website and network have any uh, weak spot that real hacker could exploit. It's like uh, testing your own uh, security by trying to break into and find out where the locks need to be stronger. So, the people ask that bug bounty hunter and red team, what is the difference? The difference is basically both doing the same work. Uh, there is uh, just a small difference is uh, the primary goal of a bug bounty hunter is to find and report uh, security vulnerabilities to the organization and get reward of something. Uh, and I have already told you, red teaming is like a cyber security uh, practice where experts act like uh, hackers or bad guys to test company's defense. That's the difference. Okay. So what does, you know, offensive approach helps you to find your bugs? Like, how does it help you? 
like of the attacking mentality especially uh, so an often offensive approach uh, where you pretend to be a hacker can help find bugs uh, because it allows you to think from a hacker's perspective uh, so you are actively trying to break into a system or application which means you are looking for the same weakness and vulnerabilities uh, that real hackers might uh, target okay. by thinking like an attacker you are more likely to uncover hidden bugs or an exploit or error and security issues that might otherwise go unnoticed uh, bug bounty hunter a unnoticed karte okay yeah hmm. so you know you would like to give any exploit example that you did and it was a massive impact on the application uh, yes uh, i have done so there is a wide scope target once uh, i did uh, sub domain enumeration sub kiya maine matlab ek bhi kuch mila nahi fir got ip from shodan then got a registration page and wo jo registration page tha wo admin ka tha so admin ka प्रिविलेज अलग ही रहता है नॉर्मल यूजर के हिसाब से तो एबल टू कंट्रोल फोल डोमेन मतलब फर्स्ट से मैंने निकाला था आईपी आईपी को फर्स्ट से मैंने फर्स्ट किया फिर मेरे को एक एंड पॉइंट मिला रजिस्ट्रेशन का तो उससे मैंने एज अ एडमिन मैंने रजिस्टर किया दैट्स ग्रेट एंड लाइक लाइक फॉर कमिंग अप विद द लास्ट थिंग what do you want to tell current bug bounty hunters any opinion or any message to them yes uh, uh, work together first of all okay share bug bounty tips and all aditya also sharing bahut sare tips wo share karta hai twitter pe wagera okay. uh, and uh, learn from them to yes stay updated on new things uh, bug hunting opportunities uh, think like a hacker to uncover hidden problems okay and lastly if you are learning something learn from the basic and then practice practice that's all so i hope you have learned something from athar with a quick recap of the training session and thank you so much athar for your valuable time and i know yeah. you are very busy and thank you so much everyone for watching this episode 3 of white power place see you all soon in the next episode bye bye signing off most of it from this side